Good day, gang, and welcome back to Lunch for Louis. Now, if you're anything like me, sometimes you want to try out being English, but you don't want to buy a stupid woolen hat and live in the rain. So this week we're making English muffins. So grab your trusty stand mixer, and into it we're tipping 625 grams of bread flour, followed by 40 grams of unsalted soft butter. While your mixer is mixing, add one tablespoon of kosher salt, one and a half tablespoons of granulated sugar, and two teaspoons of instant dry yeast. Coming in with a spatula if you're using the wrong attachment like I am, and breaking up some of the more stubborn bits of butter with your hands until you're left with a sandy, pebbly, floury mixture. To which we are adding 135 grams of room temperature water and 300 grams of room temperature whole milk. Keep your mixer mixing your mixture on medium high for around seven to eight minutes until your dough clears the side of the bowl and you've got a relatively smooth dough. Once you're happy with your dough, plop it out onto a work surface and shape into a nice taut ball. Then in a lubricated vessel, kiss it goodbye because it's off to the fridge to rise overnight. The next day, grab yourself two sheet trays with some baking paper on them and spread some semolina flour over top. Grab your dough friend, some scales and a calculator because we are separating into 12 equal parts which for me should have worked out to be 95 grams each, but as we'll see, I suck butts at math. So grabbing your 11 pieces of dough and shaping into nice taut bowls before pushing down onto the semolina flour, making sure to cover both sides. Once this is done, cover with a wet cloth and it's off to rest for one to two hours. Returning back, you should have some nice puffy muffs. Pop a cast iron skillet over some medium heat. While mine was heating up, I chose to clean the kitchen a little bit because I'm filming it and putting it out on the internet. And that's when I made a massive mistake. Watch closely, turn back, and I put the radio on. The importance of that we'll get back to in a minute. Once your skillet has come up to heat, Grab yourself a spatula that looks like it's been used to flip a brick and gently lower on your muffins. Now, I was checking the bottom of these intermittently so as not to burn them, but Louis kept wiggling, so I popped him down on the ground and he began to dance. Which then I began to dance, because god damn it, he's a good dancer and it's, he's magnetic when he gets going. So then the two of us are dancing and I can't remember which song it was playing, but we danced for them. The whole song, we had a great time dancing away in the kitchen and I burnt the living shit out of the bottom of the muffins. Then, while I was checking to see if the muffins could be saved, Louis wiggled free and danced again, as if to rub adorable salt in my wounds. So those muffins were done, but fortunately I did have another pan over on the electric stovetop and those ones turned out great. Now grab yourself a fork and stab your way around the muffin and oh man this thing was super hot. Make your way around before cracking it open, as is tradition. That's the way you do it, I don't know why, it's so freaking hot. Then cook yourself some eggs, how you like your eggs. Cook yourself some bacon, how you like your bacon. Spread some mayo on a toasted English muffin, stack up your ingredients and it's time to dig in. And that was that. These things are super dope. I encourage everyone to give them a go. They're relatively easy to get get going. Just don't burn them. <laughs>